Hi, Dean Cardinal from Worldwide Trekking, and today I'm talking about cameras for our Everest Base Camp trek in Nepal. Okay, so you're going on a trek to Mount Everest Base Camp, and you're wondering what kind of camera to bring. I usually suggest for guests to bring more of a point and shoot style camera with a good lens on it. There's so many good digital cameras on the market right now that record video as well as take great photographs. If you are an avid photographer and you're into photography and you have a camera, a larger DSLR with multiple lenses, then by all means bring it along and um, you'll use it because you're used to using it. But I do see a lot of people that go out right before the trip buy the Costco package with the larger camera with a couple different lenses, and it's inconvenient to have wearing while they're trekking, and it spends most of the time in the day pack. So for that reason, I like a smaller sized camera that is easier to just take out and shoot. So um, one, of, one of the cameras that, that I really like, I just got this this last year. This is a Sony RX100 Mach 5. Uh, it shoots in 4K video, it shoots slow motion, it shoots really great stills. It doesn't have an extremely long lens on it uh, for zooming. Some of them have longer lenses, but the photo quality is very good. And with this camera, um, battery life lasts quite a lot. And uh, it's really, really nice the way the uh, screen comes back out. If you want to do a selfie, it has the mode that counts down and you can see yourself while you're talking to it, that kind of thing. And one of the neat thing about a lot of these cameras like the Sony is I can wirelessly send all of my photographs from my camera to my phone. I don't lose them off my camera, so I have those for later on. But if I wanted to send them on social media or send some photographs out, I could manipulate them a little bit on my phone and have them on my phone and then send them over the wireless internet and I don't have to plug a cable into it or anything else. It is a, a 900 and some dollar price tag, so it's not a cheap camera by any means. A lot of digital cameras take really good photographs. It's about having it convenient. So if I have a small hip pouch, this is on my side, my camera's right on the strap of my backpack, I'm taking it out a lot, I'm taking a lot of photographs. A lot of photographs mean you're going to get some good photographs. Um, I do see a lot of people that use their phones as their primary camera. to make good photos, good video, they do time lapses. Um, a lot of times uh, if, you're, if you're using a phone, one of these small tripod mounts can be really convenient. Uh, little Gorillapod here. The reason that a lot of people like to use their phones, they can hook right up to the internet and they can share it on Instagram, Facebook, social media, back home with friends. We do have internet at a lot of the tea houses along the way. The other cameras that are good are the GoPro style cameras for action cams. So things have come a really long way, a lot of different camera options for video, for photographs. I think one of the things that's most important is convenience. A lot of photos, you're gonna get a lot of good photos. You take a few photos, you might get a few good photos. So if you're, if you're aiming to come back from your trip with a lot of memories and a lot of different photographs to share and show friends, I would opt for something more convenient that you can wear outside. It's convenient to take out, take photographs, take shoot video and put away and continue on with your trek. This is Dean Cardinal from Worldwide Trekking. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and learn more about trekking to Mount Everest Base Camp.